Welcome back to Electrified Reviews. Today, we're going to be checking out the Surface 604 Bore Explorer. Designed for the adventure-loving rider, the Bore Explorer by Surface 604 is a fat tire e-bike that's ready for pretty much any terrain. Packed with an impressive list of features, including a powerful motor and high-capacity battery, this e-bike promises to deliver an exciting, long-lasting ride. Let's dive into the specs to see if this rugged e-bike is worth the price tag of $2,700. Some of the key features here include a top speed of 20 miles per hour in Class 2 mode, but it is unlockable to 28. Of course, I unlocked it because I like to go fast. As for the motor, we have got a torque sensing 500 watt Bafang geared hub motor, peaks at 750 watts. Seems more powerful than that because the bike is a little bit on the lighter side. The battery it comes with is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour, but you do have the option to upgrade to a 20 amp hour option. Both of those utilize Samsung cells, which is a big plus for us. Big fan of the Surface 604 branded display. Nice, bright, tells me all the features I wanna know. The brakes we have here are Tektro Ariga hydraulic disc brakes, and they stop this thing on literally on a dime. They were, yeah, they were fantastic. Zero complaints about the brakes here. And the weight is only 50 pounds, including the battery. So for a fat tire bike that's supposed to go off road and has some of these features, it was surprisingly light. I mean, yeah, I was, I was, if I pulled out of the box and I was like, oh, I didn't need somebody else to help me pull this out. That's pretty interesting. My first impression was that the Bore Explorer oozes toughness and durability right from the first glance. The fat Maxxis Colossus tires are eye-catching and scream adventure ready. Literally, they, they, they yell at you. It's... I had to tell them to, to be quiet a little bit. The design is clearly focused on comfort, efficiency, and versatility, as well as the off-road ability, if that can be a word here. They didn't settle for just, you know, four inch tires, but they opted to increase the size to 4.5, and it really does make quite a difference to the ride feel. The 500 watt motor peaks at 750 watts, and it is incredibly powerful based on the specs. Normally we see a 750 watt motor, we kind of expect it to have, you know, a certain amount of torque and get up and go. This one is only 500 watts, but it still has what I would expect from a 750 watt motor. So very impressive. The fact that you can unlock this to go 20 miles per hour made it a lot more fun. And like I said, got a lot of get up and go. This thing is designed to be an easy conversion to a hunting e-bike. And this is one of the tougher e-bikes we've tested this year. There are two battery options available, the 48 volt 14 amp and 48 volt 20 amp hour. Those offer a range up to 45 miles or 65 miles respectively. This makes it perfect for long treks and extended off-road adventures, getting you into those hard to reach places in pristine hunting locations. The drivetrain is a nine speed drivetrain and it gives the rider a lot of gear choices, making it versatile for both city commuting or hill climbing. Something that is not normally mentioned in these reviews is the crank arms, and I feel like I'd be doing this e-bike a disservice to glance over how cool these arms are. They're beefy, sleek, and they look ready to take on the tough trails as well. The Surface 604 color LCD display is bright, easy to read, even in direct sunlight. It shows crucial riding data such as speed, range, battery level, and the addition of a USB jack is a thoughtful touch for charging devices on the go. The 6061 aluminum alloy frame is durable yet lightweight, as I mentioned. The Promax aluminum handlebars offer a comfortable grip and makes maneuvering this bike simple. I'm a big mountain biker and so I felt right at home with these handlebars here. The SR Selly Royale Nebula saddle is designed for comfort and the bike itself accommodates a wide range of riders from 5 foot 2 to 6 foot 6. Thanks to its two frame sizes, which is small to medium, which is a 17 and a half inch frame, and medium to large, which is a 19 and a half inch frame. Some of the additional features here are the torque sensing pedal assist, offer smooth and responsive power delivery and based on my experience on riding around on a bunch of torque sensing pedal assist this year this was probably the most responsive and the one that i enjoyed the most the Bore Explorer also comes with hydraulic disc brakes. Now these provide excellent stopping power even on tricky terrain. You'll see in the ride test we did some actual exploring, felt like we had to based on the name and this thing just stops kind of wherever you need to stop. Over the top, we've got this very bright light, which is one of my favorite safety features here on the bike. It is integrated, so you don't have to look around for any extra batteries or things like that. Great visibility, excellent safety feature to see here. The other thing I love here is the weight capacity. This thing supports up to 395 pounds, just sub 400 pounds of total payload, including the rider and cargo. The Bore Explorer also has a ton of hunting ready accessories like racks and hauler trailers, all sorts of stuff you can add to this thing to make it an off-road hunting beast of a bike. So what's my final verdict? The Bore Explorer by Surface 604 is an adventure ready e-bike designed for riders who don't want to be restricted by terrain. With its powerful motor, long range battery options, and rugged design, this e-bike is a solid investment for those seeking thrill and versatility. And you know what's more thrilling than talking about how this bike can go off road? It's actually taking it off road. So let's do that today on the ride test. All right guys, we are out here for the ride test on the Bore Explorer from Surface 604. 
kind of rhymes a little bit. A little mix master over here. So let's go ahead and start out pedaling this thing like it's a regular bike. Got to pedal this level zero. Throttle's not going to work, but we're going to go ahead and pedal this thing around. Drop it into lower gear here. Now, from a bike riding perspective, this is hands down the most comfortable e-bike I've ridden that does not have suspension. So there's no suspension seat post, no suspension stem, no front fork suspension. This thing is just a monster. We got the, the SRAM shifter, which I am a big fan of. Great pedal geometry setup here. And riding this thing like a bike, we're not using any power. This is a very, very pleasant riding experience. Really solid gearing. So let's go ahead and put it into, ah, we'll try it in. Pedals this level three. I'm wearing polarized sunglasses, so I can't really tell what it is. If we're really exploring, let's head up here. Oh, and the torque sensor is nice. I mean, you can tell it's a little bit rougher than riding around in a full squish mountain bike, but it does really feel like it is just cruising right along. Oh yeah. Now this is not a spot I've been. We are truly exploring. And <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to climb up that. I don't think so. I don't think that's for me today. Let's see. Head up around here. I'll keep on cruising. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That torque on the low end is delicious. We are just cruising. Go ahead and do a brake test here. To a grinding halt. I just saw a loose pebble kind of rock here, so very good stopping on that stuff. And yeah, having a Having a torque is so nice for this type of bike. Because you imagine if you are you know, truly exploring, doing some fun things, staying on the trail, you're probably gonna get into some situations where there'll be some you know, tight curves and things like that. This is pretty open over here. But you'll hit some spots that are a little bit tighter and being able to get all that torque and assistance right out of the gate on these turns where you know you kind of got to slow down and then as soon as you start pedaling again boom we're back up to full speed in two or three cranks here this is fun now i was just slowing out at that corner for show purposes i don't think we actually had to slow down there Back to exploring. So gearing wise, this thing is set up really well. Really cool to see SRAM on here. Uh, I'm a big SRAM fan. The, uh, the shifter that's on my personal mountain bike is SRAM. And you know, so obviously we talk about like, oh, this is cool, this is cool. But when you look at the reviewer's personal bikes, you kind of start to see their preference. So for me, I like SRAM. Shimano's great, but I'm a SRAM man. So the gearing's great, the brakes are great, and also the handling on this thing is, dare I say, unlike most of the fat tire bikes that we ride. It feels really solid. 
So now we're getting to some of like this twisty stuff. Go ahead and downshift a little bit. Oh, so nice. Now I'm trying to stay seated for a lot of this stuff, but I was really riding through here trying to get some speed. I mean, I would definitely probably be up a little bit more. So able to get some more maneuverability, absorb a little bit more of those roots and such. <laughs> yeah, guys, there is, there's no way that that fun comes across in the video of just cutting around these corners. It is a blast. I'm also kind of interested to see how she does on some jumps. Let's just see if we can find some of those. I know they're around here somewhere. Here's a secret section of trail that I've not been to, but I've only seen in the Facebook groups. So let's do some boar exploring and find it together. So we're definitely doing some exploring. I don't think, I don't think there's rideable trail around here at all, but this is the kind of places you can get to. I'm the Boar Explorer from Service 604. It is a beautiful, pristine, eerily green river thing. Beautiful. All right. The moment's passed. It's time for us to get back to business here. Tell you what, maybe we, maybe we will go through the water. That'd be a good part of the review. All right, let's do it. So good braking, excuse me fishies, coming through. Okay, this is extremely steep. If I would have taken the right angle, I probably could have gotten through there. But we went through some water, and now I gotta clean it up for, uh, for no gain. We did it. Now this is a bike that you definitely could put some fenders on it, especially if you're gonna be going through the water like we did here. All right, now as we continue our exploring here, I'm really digging these tires, 4.5 inch tires. It is a much different experience. But the whole geometry here, I mean, this thing feels like I've got so much control, but those fat tires aren't pulling me off to the sides. It is really impressive. Big fan of these tires. I'd like to see more of these on bikes. Again, just putting on, getting on the torque and just ripping through here. This is fun. Get around that corner. Got to do it. All right. Now let's see about finding a new way back over here. Oh, there's some unexplored things down here. I just have not found them yet. It's the Boar Explorer, you know? Gotta do some exploring. Not this way. See, now that's some exploring. Oh! Good Lord. Whew, I got stabbed. Whoa. I don't think I'm bleeding. Impressive, All right guys, this is the jump we're gonna hit right here. And uh, for those of you who know me a little bit, you'll know that I'm just kidding. That is a gnarly jump. Now I'm just kind of using just the throttle here. There's that little Gapper jump, that looks pretty fun. But I think we're coming back around to, yeah, to our entrance point here. Let me try hitting that gapper jump. Because I do that, it'd be a great way to end the video. And if I fall, I'll just do the outro from the ground. Well, let's go. Didn't really jump it, but it was fun. 
Woo! That was exciting. Uh, well guys, I think that is gonna do it for our review on the Bore Explorer from Service 604. Honestly, I am very, very impressed with this bike. Yeah, you guys saw the specs. You know what comes with it. A little bit of the ride experience here. It is, yeah, honestly, it is a very, very cool time. I think putting on, you know, suspension front fork on here might make everything a little bit easier for the off-road terrain. But even with no suspension, those huge tires, it is, it is a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for, for riding with us. If you have any questions for me, let me, down now in the, let me know down in the comments. And we'll stumble through another outro on the next one.